Hi guys, in this video I'll explain how we can use T-System component in Talon, what's the function of this component, what's the need, why companies use it, and how companies can take maximum benefit out of this component. The agenda for this video is, I'll explain first the function of T-System component, then I'll give a practical demonstration of using this component in Talon, and then I'll explain the need of T-System component. What's the reason that companies are using this component and how companies are taking maximum out of this component. So this component is used to execute one or more system commands. By saying so, it means commands which we are generally running from command prompt we can run all of the commands, all of these commands using this component. We can either run external applications or operating system commands. And then we can redirect the output to talent console or maybe to talent global variables. And then we can use this data or information and we can parse it and we can integrate it into our workflow. So this is used mostly to run external applications like Java or Python. Integrating strength of talent with other programming languages. So quite possible that a company wants to shift to using talent for data integration and they already have some of their integration jobs written in other programming languages like Java or Python. And now they don't want to replicate the whole solution to talent but rather they want to integrate some of their external solutions some of their external scripts in the talent data flow so they can use this component to execute those scripts externally and they can get the results of those scripts inside talent either through global variables or either through reading from external files. As said previously, for companies which want to integrate external applications in the processing flow through Talon. So this is quite amazing component inside Talon. Let's switch to Talon and see the practical demonstration. So this is an integration job which is going to run T-System component. So in the first place, we're going to run T-System component to execute an, an external Python script. So if you see in this directory, I have this Python script. Make sure you have Python installed on your local machine, or maybe if you're running some other script, then you should have that software on your machine. In my case, Python is installed in my operating system. I'm going to run this Python script, which is placed externally on the local machine. And this Python script is going to read this file and dump the data on console in Talent. And then it's also going to create another file, which we will read in Talent and simply dump, dump it onto console. Let's see the configuration menu of this component. So if we want to use the default workspace of talent, we do not need to check this option. If you want to give some other address on your machine, you specify it here. You can either choose to use use single command or use add a command. If you have a simple command like this, then you can, use, you can choose to write it in one line. And if you have a quite complex command, then you can have a better readability by writing it onto multiple lines. And then you have the option to dump the output of the external script either to console or writing it to a global variable or both. In case we want to write it on in a global variable, we can later on read this global variable in the flow and we can parse it accordingly. Same goes for schema. If you already know what you're going to read from the external application, you can specify the schema. 
and then you can use the data in all external components and environment variables are used to add any global variables and use them with this component let's use this option and run the script so this integration job is going to give us two outputs in the first place first output will be given by this component and the second output will be given by this subject if we see the python script then we can we can have a look that we have two chunks of code inside this script one is reading the file and dumping the data on the console and the second is it's writing the results of this file into a second file so we will use that second file to be read using this component and dump the data onto the console let's run this component let's run the integration job i mean as i said previously this data we have already got by t system component so we need to parse it using some other component and then the same data was also written by the python script into a separate file and we read the file and we dumped the data on the console so this is how you can use external applications external programming languages external scripts into your workflow and you can take maximum benefit out of it so that you don't need to write each and everything inside Talon. So this is a quite powerful component inside Talon. So that's it for now. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget also to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.